what's up guys kings reaper here and welcome back to another episode of playthrough so this episode we pick off continuing our mission to get level 15 so i can get some more quests and the first raid we are going to go into is also customs so i took a sniper rifle m700 this raid and I spawned near the old gas station. So I quickly rushed to another side of the map and just as I was about to cross this bridge, I heard some shots coming from inside the big red or from the yard. The scavs were also aggroed, but I waited to see who's gonna come. And there was somebody. So the first shot was definitely solid one. So was the second one, but the dude just doesn't die. Now I wasn't immediately sure if my shots were missing or what was going on, but I had to stay here. I was persistent. I really wanted to kill this dude now. So I had to wait him out a little bit. I knew he was behind a container. He was kind of stuck. Because whatever side he went on, left or right, I would still see him. And that was Cav shooting already on him. So I knew for sure that he was hiding behind that container or behind that wall. I just had to wait him out. And now he started shooting back. So I saw a glimpse of him. So I knew he would move. And once again, I was quite sure my bullet hit him, but I couldn't tell for sure. And this angle was no longer good because now he was under the pipe and I couldn't see him. So I went up the hill and inside the yard, so inside of the construction, I tried to catch him on this side, but he probably already passed and I couldn't see good. So after tapping that one, one tap on that scav, I went into the yard because I knew he would push through the pocket or he would push next to me and I would have hear him if he was going on the road. So I waited here just to see which path he's going to take and nonetheless there he was. I saw him move slightly inside there and I knew he was behind that corner so it was only a matter of time when he was going to peek that corner once again, start to push, start to move forwards, which is going to give me perfect opportunity for a headshot. And once again, I was disappointed. I, s I was quite sure that was a headshot, but somehow he walked it off like it was nothing. So I knew he went back and he would push around to get into the yard from the other side so he went back through the pocket and there he was and finally I managed to kill him I wasn't sure why but after looting him it was quite clear why I couldn't take him down the dude was wearing fort armor and of course each bullet damaged it and now finally it was zeroed out so thank lord for persistence i got all his gear and i went for the extract with the smuggler's boat since i spawned on the other side of the map so that was good first raid although it took me a bit to take him down i was quite happy with the gear i came out so it was a almost fully decked gazelle, uh, fully decked Adar, and yeah, we just went into another raid with a sniper. So after picking some stuff in stashes, I came towards the dorms, when all of a sudden, there was a sneaky player coming from behind me, but fortunately he didn't know I was in this bush. Got him once. Started panicking. And I gave him another no scope. Thank Lord for that. So after killing him, I had to heal up because he did make a lot of noise with that gun. So I knew somebody was going to come or somebody's going to look up here. So I healed up 
grabbed some of his gear and decided I want to get out. But of course, the greed, the greed would kick in once again. So I grabbed the M4 and went for the stash. And just as I was almost done looting the stash, I heard a player. So even though I gave him, I would say, most definitely a headshot, for some reason the game didn't register it, or maybe it was a chest shot, I'm not sure. But, next raid, I killed a scav or two and finished the quest, the extortionist. No, not the extortionist, the extortionist was the next one, but I finished the quest for Skier with body armors and tosses. So after grabbing another quest, yeah, I had to organize my inventory again a little bit, but this time it was a quest to pick up a folder of some sort, again on customs, for which I needed the unknown key. So after spawning at the old gas station, I started pushing towards the end of it and luckily I found a flash drive in this van. Now this is the first time I ever found flash drive in this van, although other people said it's high probability to find it there. So after grabbing that, I checked up another stash or two and as I was heading over the hill, I wanted to tap that sniper. Now I'll be having a hit counter down on the left just for the sake of controversy that happens later on in the raid. So after killing that scav I found another one near the fence. One solid shot, two solid shots. So that is that is in total four hits. I left that scav alone because I didn't want to bother with him, he was far away. And when I moved up on the stash that's located on the hill, I found something interesting. So this filter alone is worth around 260,000 rubles. So I packed it up in my backpack and said, oh hell, let's get the hell out of here, that's a lot of money. But then this happened. I want you to count shots, the ones that you think are good, and in general, all the shots I take now. So, if you counted with me, that was 10 shots out of which 7 solid ones before that guy died. But we'll get to that back in just a second, because just as I was about to extract there was another player scav right in front of me. That's 5 solid shots that we know on other th scavs, so if you disregard the last one. And of course I got flashed. Cause why not? Thank Lord I gave him a headshot and he was dead. So I grabbed some of his gear. The smuggler's boat was here and I extracted successfully. But the end game stats are quite interesting. So at first I thought the game didn't register all my hits, but if you take a closer look here, I took 17 shots out of which 13 were good, and I used 6 of them on other 3 scavs. That only means that I hit that man 7 times with M80 rounds, he had no armor on him whatsoever, and he didn't die. So. Sometimes I just don't understand why it works like this, but if you're playing this game, you need to know that things like this are going to happen. It was only a lucky headshot at the end that got him down. But the next raid we spawned next to Big Red, so I went up to check if some flash drives spawned in computers to loot the duffel bag and safe, when all of a sudden somebody was approaching me 
and coming upstairs. But I did manage to give him a headshot, so he died instantly on the first shot. He didn't have any good ammo, so I refused to pick up his mags. I just reloaded my mag, repacked it, checked the safe, and this was one of better safes I had in game so far. So I had both Golden Skull and the book. So after looting other stashes and jackets around here, I went to cross only to find a lonely scav. Now after killing this scav it all looked clear. There was no movement, you couldn't hear any other scavs being aggroed. So I thought, hey, it's fine, let's go loot. Let's go loot this man and see what he had. But those calves decided to gangbang me. So all was good, all was clear and all of a sudden, boom, another two scavs. So after looting those bodies and checking some stashes along the way to exit, sniper scav on the house was once again alive. So I quickly one tapped him and went for the exit. Thankfully, there was nobody else in my way, so I extracted su successfully and had quite a hefty profit from the skull and the book and all the other items that I found inside the raid. So quick organization of my inventory, I went into the next raid. I won't bother you with the whole raid, I just went here on the map where it's shown, which is the unknown key which you need for this shack. And inside this shack you will find the secure folder for Skier. It's always buried under these cloths here. So after picking it up, I went on in my raid, but nothing interesting happened. I killed one player and that was pretty much it. So I went in to turn the quest to Skier. And he gave me two other quests, one with flash drives and the one where you need to kill PMCs with handgun. But as much as I recall, they it used to be four PMC players, now it's three, which means they nerfed it a little bit, which is good. And I also got another quest from Prapor. So after quick recapping of what I need to do now, which quests I need to do, I grabbed a gear and went back into another raid. So I pursued my quests again on customs because yeah, it's kind of my favorite map. It's the best map to play on for me. I'm best known for playing on this map. I'm very comfortable with it. So yeah, we spawned in the garages area and I decided to go for a flank because sometimes there can be people spawning in this corner right in front of me. And I wasn't wrong. There was somebody in front of me because I could see him just move a little bit beside this shack. What I didn't know is that there were actually two players. So I wasn't focused completely. And I missed that there were two of them. So I tried to kill that one and for some reason he was probably wearing good armor or something so I couldn't kill him. But anyways, after quickly repacking my mags, I tried to go for a flank once again. And I heard them running along this wall. And they went across, so I knew it's time to try to push them again, to catch them crossing the river, and maybe give them a headshot or something. But I was a bit late. They already crossed. So unfortunately I missed my shots and after trying to see if they're gonna repeat, they didn't. So instead of going immediately across, I went back. Only to find somebody else sneaking around the shacks. So I went for the bus, which turned out to be a pain in the ass. 
because I was getting stuck on chairs, on doors. So I was like, uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to use the bus anymore. Even though it was my, my only cover, I went for the flank. I missed the initial two shots. But I didn't miss that one. And as he was running away, I wanted to push him. Well, surprise, surprise. It wasn't only one player, but actually it was two players sitting here. Well, that went good for me. So thankfully, they were quite a low level, they didn't have anything other than handguns, so I picked up some of their gear, and just as I thought that was it, as I was scooping up their gear, I heard somebody else approaching me. That nosy scav. He just had to come and check what's up. Well, quick headshot and that was it. So I picked up anything that was actually good, that was worth some money. I repacked my mags. And I went to check what this scav had. Unfortunately, it was nothing of great value. So I quickly looted jackets upstairs as well because sometimes they will spawn good keys found juice and went on the other side of the map so after searching in dorms for quite a bit i finally found the room in which the folder or case with uh, intel was spawned it took me a little bit to find it but i did find it and after finding it, I wanted to get out as as fast as possible. Luckily, I managed to get out. So after getting out of that raid, I had to organize my inventory once again. But my quest for Prepper was done. So I turned in what he needed. And finally, the Punisher line of the quest was on the horizon. All I needed was level 17. So, without waiting for too much, I picked up my PMC and went into yet another raid just to get it as just to get that level 17. This time I went into interchange because I was hunting for scavs. And as I was flanking around the building, there was a player And these were probably the cleanest three shots I ever took on such long distance with no scope. Like, I couldn't believe it even myself. Like, three shots in a row while he was moving and I managed to kill him. So after killing him, I was already quite... Yeah, I had quite good items already. So I wanted to get out as fast as possible. And there was somebody else. So this player came out of nowhere. Thankfully, I managed to kill him with two shots. I repacked my mags once again. Went to check what he had from gear. He had some more items for me. So, I picked up whatever I could, the motor, which was also worth a lot of money, and he also killed someone. So, yeah, that was good. After looting him, somebody started to shoot at me. Somebody was sniping from a far distance, and the only logical thing you can do is start running like a chicken. So I ran and I ran and I ran, and I finally came to extract, and I did extract successfully. So after extracting, I 
stash some items that I might need later for my hideout. I sold some of them for hefty profit, but I was not done with the interchange because I still needed a lot more scav kills on interchange. So I grabbed yet the same gear set that I had last raid and went into interchange. I spawned directly in front of the mall and went into the garages because I know there are some scavs spawning inside as well. And as I was sitting down there, I heard players above me. They were breaking glass, destroying stores. And that was the cue I wanted to hear. Scavs were in garages, spawned, and angry. Well, Unfortunately, it's so dark and gloomy inside that you can't see actually where the scavs are. You can only see the flashes of their barrels. So at this point, I thought it was all. I thought I killed all three scavs and I wanted to push their bodies to check what they had. To my surprise, one of them was still alive. So after trying to loot all their bodies, I only managed to find two bodies. There was a lot of action going around me, probably above, so I looted what I could, went through garages and used the alternative staircase to get up. So I was going through the back side of the store when I heard some scavs outside. So they were clearly aggroed on me, but I couldn't see them. So I had to run back and wait for them to push me. For some reason, this time they didn't push. They were outside, but nobody pushed inside. I was worried about the guy behind me because he was there with M4. I had to go through scavs quickly, but that guy refused to die, even though taking two or three solid shots, again, he didn't want to die. So I had to go back, patch myself up, reload the mags, and wait for him to push. So I finally killed that scav as well. The M4 guy was somewhere in the vicinity, so I didn't waste a lot of time looting them, I just went on and extracted. I was almost level 16, which is good because that's really, really close to reaching my goal, and that is the Punisher line quests, which will give us the better secure container. That will be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one when we push even further for the quest. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, hit that notification button to get Notif to get notified by YouTube when my next episode comes out. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you again.